Hey, what's going on everybody? Michael Hudson here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Plate Date. Standing right behind me is Triple X Root Beer here in Issaquah, which is about 20 minutes drive east of Seattle. They are one of the only drive through restaurants here. Uh, they're known for their cheeseburgers and also their amazing root beer. Let's go check it out. So let's take you back to a little bit of history in the Pacific Northwest. The very first drive-in restaurant here in the region was recognized in 1930 at Renton, Washington. Triple X root beer and fast food turned out to be a match made in heaven and had spread across the United States. This building here in Issaquah is the last one left, which was the traditional barrel. Another fun fact, did you know the barrel sign on the building is the largest lighted plexiglass sign in the West? This establishment today started in 1968, though the original location, which was called The Barrel, is not too far away. This restaurant is known for its old school classic 1950s style burgers, fries, and milkshakes. You can even see the creative naming in the menu. Due to the classic themed dining and surroundings, it's not a surprise it's also the host of many meets and car gatherings where cars come from all over to show their rides as well as have a good burger. Today, this family and minority owned operation is run by Jose and Siso and his family. You can see him talking to diners and serving up food as well as giving his recommendations for what you may be craving. As you can see by the decor and furnishings, he definitely knows how to make a restaurant stand out. He says Triple X may be the oldest historic building in Issaquah, but it's probably the one which is the most visited and enjoyed. Now to help with the ambiance of 50s dining, take a look around. You can see retro vintage memorabilia adorning the dining area, license plates, photos, even a jukebox. I definitely get feel good vibes in this place. Now let's get to what you've been waiting for, the food. All right, so right here, it's called the Root Beer Float. They're known for this, and what we have is just kind of a soft serve vanilla ice cream with some of their homemade root beer. Let's dig in. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's so sweet, but so good. Um, you know, the vanilla definitely hits in the mouth right away, um, but for the most part, it is very, very good. And this is the small, too. Look how, look how big this is, and this is the small size. Crazy. All right, everybody, the time has come. I have received the triple X burger. Look at this beast. I, I'm not kidding. This is this is it right here. Pretty heavy. I won't, dude, this is probably close to like five pounds. Um, you know, as you can see here, looks like a huge omelet as far as like the bun goes. And look how many burger patties there are. We have three burger patties. Smells really good. It kind of, you have the Thousand Island dressing. Kind of has like a Big Mac feel almost, like from McDonald's, as far as like the smell goes. Um, but I have no idea how I'm gonna eat this, but we will give this the best shot we can. Mm. Wow. Very flavorful. It tastes a little bit like the Big Mac because of Thousand Island, but a lot more fresher. Um, but man. This is a beast. And also it comes with the fries as well. 
little steak fries. Good also. Pretty great. Oh yeah. That's why I starved myself for like two weeks so I can have this meal. Here's one diner giving us his take on the food. So I got the steak and mushroom uh, melt with onion ring. Oh, it was really good. Um, everything was melted together and it just fell apart and it was a big mess, but it was really tasty and the onion rings were super crunchy and oh, it was just really good. 100% I would let you try this place. You should, 100% <laughs> you should try this place. So if you're starving and you're looking for a meal, give this a shot. All right, everybody, that was Triple X Root Beer. We really hope you enjoyed the episode. They have amazing food, so make sure to check this place out if you're in the area. All right, everybody, that is our episode for today. Make sure to visit us on egonewslive.com and also visit our social media pages on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, we're always gonna save you a seat here on Plate Days.